So really, focus on the economic returns. And um, coming from the field of sustainability, if you focus on the economics, the environmental aspects of it certainly follow. Maybe it's also because of the Japanese descent. In our culture, we come from a very resource-constrained environment. It's kind of naturally baked in into at least certainly the Japanese culture's way of thinking. So approach it from that kind of a perspective, or that if you want to use that as a story for selling your particular business to an investor, you got to be able to help articulate the economics. Secondly, also, I'd, I would add, or a recommendation, unsolicited, for uh, the entrepreneurs in the room, you really got to think about what's the impact that you want to have, and candidly, how do you define your impact, and how does the investor define the impact? I think you know, you've heard some of the previous speakers today touch on that point as well. It's very much a marriage process, right? You want to find the right investors that you want to work with. Um, maybe it's just me and my value. I want to make sure that I'm working with people with whom my values are in alignment. So make sure that your impact definition thereof is in alignment with their impact definition, as well as, candidly, how they measure it. I think Brett uh, did a great job earlier showcasing a lot of the, uh, the various metrics that are out there and available today, published by a lot of wonky people like the Gin, Sounds, et cetera, thinking through what are the various metrics that we can use with IRIS. IRIS is great. It is very detailed. There are dozens, if not hundreds, of metrics that are out there. So how are you going to actually measure and demonstrate the impact? I think that's going to be certainly two very key. So you need to be able to articulate your two things, economic returns and how you're going to measure your impact. And there's a third level of that story, if you will. I think it'd be great if, um, going back to some of the white papers and how you want to think about doing your investor pitches and decks, et cetera, what's your story? Why are you interested in this particular space? Why are you interested in making this kind of an impact? And why do you think that this way of measuring that impact is the right way to do it? Because if you don't have that down, if you can't convince yourself, your friends and your family of that, you're not going to convince any of the investors that are out there about that, especially the skeptical ones. Um, you know, we're fortunate that as you know, we're starting to see a, a, tr a generational change, if you will, in the types of investors that we've got out there, Gen X and Gen Y. We saw some excellent statistics up there. Also with respect to the millennial generation as well, um, you start to see a bigger care about, if you will, for these social and impact issues and how are we actually gonna make a difference type of thing. And so making sure that your story's in alignment with that. Um, is, I think, super critical. So it's a good time to be in this space because you're starting to see both interest in the consumers, the customers, the investors, as well as the providers seeking to meet that need. Um, we kind of touched on this one a little bit earlier, and I'm happy again, I think we'll be sending this out later on today, but these are the various spaces that we are looking to play in, uh, food, tech, water, energy, a lot of the probably same usual suspects for many of us uh, in the room, especially if we've been hanging out at Lacey. Um, so that is the end of my presentation. Happy to take questions. I tell you, man, design airplanes for a living. Fly fast and low under the radar. All right, so we have questions for Christine, and then after a few with Christine, I'm hoping that you guys will take other questions. If there's more that you guys are saving on the other speaker. So we have Carmen over there. We must say that Carmen is an investor. I am no. Please come see me. We. So tell them one of our theme, a little bit. Yeah, one of our theme. Of we. Yeah, no. uh, so I'm a, a venture capitalist with Mila Capital Advisors. We invest very early pre-seed. So very happy to talk to you. Um, sometimes we're the first investor in at formation. Uh, we do have different themes that we're interested in, which is why I came here. Uh, those include biotech, medical devices, energy, uh, new materials, um, food and ag, uh, and then global investment as well. Particularly, we're interested in hardware because that's where we have deep expertise. So these are you know, robotics, uh, wearables, things like that. Uh, my question- And you have a great space. Yes, we have a bit, we have an innovation lab out in the Valley, Chatsworth, um, where we have a makerspace, a biotech lab, co-working, and we put on events. Uh, and on October 19th, we are hosting an event uh, for Startup Weekend. So anybody, if you know anybody that might be interested in exploring startups, 
and getting ready for that, please uh, join us. So my question is on policy and how you engage um, with regulation because you know on the regulatory side, there's many ways that governments can know.